And I'm delighted to be joined by Noel Mead. And Noel, all roads lead to the Unibet Irish Gold Cup for a road to respect. I'm sorry to bring up the Savage Chase again. It was hard to watch. Yeah, look, it was one of those things that just didn't work out. Uh, he got... He slipped, as everybody saw on the video or on, on the, during the race, he slipped twice. Look, he ran a hell of a race considering what happened to him. Hopefully we get him back in the same condition to the, for the next day. He came home OK and he's in good shape at the moment and every day the passes, hopefully he stays that way. And I don't know if you saw me, but I was just to your right as you walked into Pradering after the race and you actually looked, you had a smile on your face. You weren't too downbeat or depressed, so you actually took defeat quite well. I was actually thinking more about the other horse, to be honest with you. I, like, Road to Respect getting beat was one thing. Uh, we lost Disco in the race, which was a huge loss. It was, that was, that, like, you could get over getting beaten when you have them again, but to lose him was serious because he was, he was, a, he was, a, he was a grade one horse and he was a real, he was a real top horse. He was an unlucky horse, but he was a good, he was a good horse. But um, anyway, Kerry Knight, look, you've got to take the ups and downs because if you start go up and down, going up and down, it will drive you crazy. And like, you go crazy enough with it anyway. So you just have to, you have to just take it on the chain and walk away and say that's you know. And how has Road to Respect been since Christmas? Good, so far everything's gone well. Come out of the race okay. Uh, we were a bit worried about the ground being as quick as it was, but he's come out of it okay. And um, yeah, everything's gone right. And for the rest of the, the festival, obviously ground dependent, you don't know exactly what's going to run yet, but maybe two or three that you're looking forward to over the two days? Well, hopefully Valdu will run in the, in the novice world, the two-mile novice. Uh, look, it's hard to know where we're at with him. We always liked him. He seemed to work very well at home. He won very well in Nace. Form of the race wouldn't be great, wouldn't wouldn't match up to a lot, but he did it very easy and he attacked his hurdles and done it well. But he has gotten beaten three or four times in, in bumpers, so it's hard to know. Uh, he's won. I'd love to be able to run uh, Manila Fair. but So would I. Unfortunately, the ground is very much against him and I can't imagine how he will. Um, it's quite possible we might run, we might run uh, first approach in that two mile six race. Uh, we'll see how he is. He he was staying on, ran a funny race in Nace the last day. Never really travelled early on and got himself out of it and didn't jump like he can. Um, I don't know whether there was something to miss from him or not. But if he if he gives us a better, if he gives us a good vibe, we might run him in the in the two six race. He's in on at the weekend, but I'm not going to run him there. So he we'll wait and see. And finally, the concept, the Dublin Racing Festival. I know you've been a fan for a long time. Yeah, look at it. From the first time it was uh, um, put forward, I, I weighed into it straight away. And, and I, I had no doubt. In fact, the, the only thing I can think about is why didn't we think of it before? Like, it seems so stupid not to have thought of it before. Because the, those three Leopardstown meetings were sort of... Uh, mix them, gather them and scattered all over the place. They were... One of them was too close to Christmas. The other one was too close to Cheltenham. It made this made so much sense. It brought us, it put us into a situation where we have uh, the right gap between, as it proved last year with so many winners, horses winning in Cheltenham, the right gap between uh, Christmas and 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 um, and it and Cheltenham and it. So it, it's bang in the middle. It's proper. It's the right time. Absolutely, it's perfect. My thanks to Noel Mead.